Hi Stampers, it's Elizabeth and welcome to this edition of the SSS Super Teams event. It is 10.30 Eastern and my name is Elizabeth. I live in Brampton, Ontario, just outside of Toronto, the southern, um, southern Ontario. It is sunny here, there is no snow, I have no clue what's going on with the weather, but I am going to take it. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. At the top, um, check the agenda and uh, follow along for your time zone. Good rule of thumb is to refresh uh, per the agenda, and it might take a couple of times to refresh to get the feed to show up on your on your computer. Depends on your internet connection, Facebook, lots of things. Your internet connect connection, my internet connection. So just refresh until it pops up. Everything is happening in this in this spot in this uh, group. There may be an, a, a time or two, I think we've got three recorded that will all appear at the end and uh, you'll have to uh, be taken to YouTube to watch the pre-recorded video and then you'll have to come back to this group. Uh, and one last thing, I just want to thank uh, Glenda and Diane for behind the scenes uh, coordination. They, has, they have kept us all on track. So thank you ladies for all that you do to keep this thing running. And good morning. So um, a few of us use something. Uh, hello, Tamara. A few of us use a program called Ecamm. Some use StreamYard. Some use, I uh, forget what the other one is. Sometimes there'll be a little uh, code that says click here to allow me or Tamara or whoever to see to see um, your uh, who you're who's commenting. So uh, we may be, be able to see who you are, but we will all we see is like Facebook user. I can see Tamara because she's also uses uh, the same. Good morning from California. Whoa, hello, California. Um, all right. So let's get started without further ado. And good morning. Good morning, everybody that's joining. And I will go back afterwards and I will uh, respond to all the comments, especially uh, the comments. I can't see who it is. So let's get overhead. I am going to be playing with Nature's Sweetness, my favorite in the catalog, got to tell you. So this is the Na Nature's Sweetness Sweet, say that 10 times. And this is one of Good Morning Nova Scotia. And so I'm going to be playing with the Nature Sweetness. And I love this. We're going to be combining both the lovely and sweet, the notes of nature. We're going to use some of the designer series paper. And we're going to be using some of the faux trim. And uh, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be making with you today. Where, where I put it. I had done some of these at Christmas and I really loved it. So I've altered it, uh, yeah, adapted it for the nature sweetness. So we've got just this little belly band on here. And then when you open it up, it has a, a gift bag inside with a little bit of tissue paper and it holds a gift card. This is my old gift card. Uh, not really mailable, uh, but you could make a really nice decorative box that goes with it, or it could be a great Mother's Day. Adapt it for wherever you want. I'm, I was thinking a Mother's Day when I made this, but I want to use the sentiments that were in the bundle, so I ended up making it a birthday card. So good morning, looking forward to the event. Al from Manitoba. So there we are one more time, and we've used the faux leather trim. This is hard to use, I think, as, as a bow type, but I've used it uh, often as sort of accent pieces. And lesson learned, don't put hand cream on your hands before you do a presentation because I had to recut cardstock because uh, I got oil all over it. Okay, so let's put that aside. We are going to start with a piece of my favorite color is the Pebbled Path. Uh, anyone else? Hands up. Who else loves Pebbled Path? Love Pebbled Path. And so this is four and a quarter by 11. And it is scored... I'm going to put this here. Good morning from Edmonton. And it is scored at three and a quarter and seven and a half. I will post all of these. I'll make it pretty and post them all for you to see. And the larger side is the top and the bottom, the smaller side is the bottom. Just like that. I need my bone folder. Should have brought that out. And really that's the card, as easy as that. Okay, so that's the front of the card. 
we need a piece of designer series paper and I'm going to be using Oh, whatever it is, whatever this suite is that goes with this. I can't remember the title of it. Oh, I should have written it down, but it's beautiful. It's I love this. So, and this is going to go because I didn't cut that right. There we go. That's this one. This is going to go on the front and this is three and a quarter by four. I'm just getting all of these little pieces out of the way. I don't need this right now. So I'm getting it out of the way so that I can get on to the other parts of this project. What's the weather like where everybody is? And make sure this, the, sen the sentiments are going up. Score at, oh, score at three and a quarter and seven and a half. So there it is. So it's four and a quarter by 11, scored at three and a quarter by seven and a half. All right. And then this designer series paper goes on top and it was my ruler because I have a bad memory. It was four by three and a quarter. All right. Nature sweetness. Thank you, Tamara. And Tamara's up next and we all know she's entertaining. So stick around for that. And then we've got piece of basic white for the inside and piece of basic white for the outside. The inside, make sure I've got the right one, is four by four. And, oh, sorry, the inside middle panel right here, four by four. And then for the bottom panel, it is a three by four. And I'm going to do, I am going to do some stamping. And for the bottom, I'm going to do just sending a bit of love using the pebbled pack, but okay, I'm gonna do a survey here. I really don't like the word just in front of this. I hate it actually, just sending a bit of love. I've said this, I've said this before on a, in a class or something that I really hate just, because it's like you're, you know, I'm just sending you this, it's, it's, it's not a lot. I don't like it. So I'm gonna mask it off. I'm going on a rant here for a second so that I'm just saying sending a bit of love so that we're just doing sending a bit of love. No, I'm just not, it's more than just, it's important. I'm sending you love. Anyhow, that's my rant for the day. Good morning, everybody. And we're just going to do sending a bit of love your way like that. Throw that away or else you'll wear it or I will wear it. And then on the top, uh, nope, that's not the right one. It's this one. Today is all about you. Happy birthday. And I'm going to put this up here like that. So it peeks above the, the bag when it's open. And okay, so I, I mucked, mucked here. So let me flip that over because that's what I can do. I find this stamp really uh, has edges on it. So let me just clean that off, dry it and do a little better job of stamping. There we go. All right, like that. that's better. And I'm gonna put that aside, me too. When people say I am just, okay, so it's not just, it isn't me, <laughs> just me. Yeah, it's just, I just didn't like it. And so this will go on the inside. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit before I edit it here. And then that's going to go down here like that. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, I am going to get a piece of designer series paper. This is going to be the bag, all right? And this is four by nine and a half, and I'm going to score it with y'all. I got it on my scoreboard. So this is four by nine and a half, and I've got some real cryptic notes here that I will be sharing with you. So on the four inch side, we are going to score at half inch and at one, at, sorry, at three inches. So it's a half inch on this side and a, a one inch from that side. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're going to score it at half inch, one inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. So once, one more time on the four inch side, we're going to score it at half inch and three inches. So it's like one inch from that side. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna score it at half inch, 
one, sorry, half inch, one inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. All right. And we're going to do some cutting. I'm going to put this right here like that. So we are going to cut off all of these corners and I'm going to do it on this side. And it's easier just because it's easier to see. And before I came on, I cleaned my blocks. I'm guessing direction paper should be. Um, so the paper for this, it should be uh, non-directional. Uh, especially if you have got a pattern, a definite pattern that goes up and down like this. Because on this side, it'll be going one way. And then this side will be going the opposite way. So I just picked a, a paper that was non-directional. That had really no descript pattern to it. And cutting off all these corners. Yes, I got up and I cleaned my blocks and I cleaned my scissors as I was waiting to come on. Had coffee. <laughs> Did anyone catch the long side scores? I've got half. Oh, the long side, half inch, one inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. In the, there's a post where uh, Glenda tried to keep us very organized and she has uh, asked us if we had measurements to put them there. I have put them there, so they are also there. So this is the narrow side. This is the half inch. This is the top, okay? So the one inch is the top of the bag. And I am going to fold this in half like, like this. And I'm going to make sure I've got it cut evenly. So I'm not cut evenly here. So I'm just going to trim that up a bit to make sure it's even. Okay. This is the tricky part, really not so tricky part. So from this score line, let me, let me see. I'm going to try, try to get fancy. There we go. All right. So from this edge score line and this score line, I am going to go one inch in from this score line. So one inch in from this score line. And I've got my pen, where's my pen? But a quarter inch down. So one square of the grid paper. And so one inch down and I'm going to make a little pencil mark, pen mark right there. Okay. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing, but from this score line. So I'm going to go one inch in from, from this score line here. This is where the handles are going to go. And one inch down and a quarter inch down. So that's about right there. I think I got this right. No, I don't have this right. This, this, I did it wrong. One inch there. So ignore that line there. So one inch in on that side, one inch in on this side, quarter inch down from that score line. Okay. I do not own a Mm, circle punch, a small circle punch that has a long enough handle reach on it. So I'm just going to take my take your pick with the pointy thing on the end. And I am going to, through both layers, uh, poke a hole. Okay, so now I've got two, two holes right there like that. And it's gone through right onto the other side. Sometimes when you make these in advance, you forget. Sorry, I'm rocking the camera, sorry. Kind of back up. You forget what you do. Okay. I want this as the outside of my purse. Okay, so that's, I want that on the outside. Now I have two pieces of the trim that are, I've got lots of pieces of the trim actually. Uh, five inches by five inches. I think I've cut them long, five and a half. Five and a half, five inches by five inches. I'm going to cut these down a little bit. I did a little, a little too long. And you're going to need some tear and tape. Okay. And I'm going to fold, push that one in on that side and this one in on that side like that. And I'm going to get my tear and tape out. And just put it over that one and that one just to hold it down. And we're going to do the same with this one. 
Make sure I got the right size. Uh, alrighty, come on. Yeah, I, I didn't have a hole punch that had a long enough reach. I had an old crocodile. I tried that, but it just didn't wouldn't work. Wouldn't work at all. So that was my workaround. There we go. And now do the same thing here. Great. This would make a great wedding. Great, great wedding uh, gift card holder. Okay. And now we have it like that. And these, these two are going to now get flap, flapped down, folded down. And I'm going to put some tear and tape like this and some tear and tape on this side. I love my tear and tape. Okay. And fold this over with the bone folder. And I am going to pull these off and the top. That wasn't very smart, Elizabeth. There we go. Uh, da -da. I hope everyone's having a great celebration. Some great new items got added to the celebration offerings. So check those out if you haven't. Some awesome, awesome projects. I mean, present um, product that's been uh, that's been offered. Uh, found it. Thanks, everyone. Oh, great. And I will do a really nice picture and post it uh, when I'm done here. Okay. So now we've got that like that. And now. Um, I'm going to fold that over. I always forget what side I put the tear and tape on. Like this. There we go. So now I'm going to fold it like this. Fold this extra long flap over. And I'm going to put the tear and tape on this side. Like this. And it if, if I've done it right, they should match up perfectly like, like that, but I am going to adjust it. The key here is to make sure your bag is flat. Okay. So now there's the bag. I'm going to flip that corner in or that side in, and this side is going to get flipped in like, like, like that. And now really burnish that down so that the bag sits really evenly. And last but not least, we're going to put some tear and tape right along this bottom edge like that. And right along, Ooh, I'm running out of tear and tape. Have no fear. I have more. Oops. And then along this edge like that. There we go. Alrighty, now where's the card go? Okay, now we can assemble the card. And this is going to go the middle panel. So when you fold this card, this side was the shorter side, this side was the longer side. And that's upside down, Elizabeth. And this is going to go in here like that. And then this is going to go down here like that. You can decorate it, the inside, as, as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like. I like to say you can tack it up or you can leave it. You could stamp on the inside of it. There are lots of things you can do. And now because I put this pen mark here, I'm going to flip that to the back like that. It doesn't matter which one it is. Peel that off. And this line here is going to go right on that crease here. So I'm going to put it right on the crease like that. Peel off this baby. And fold that over. And there you go. Now you're just going to put a little bit of tissue paper in there and your gift card. And you have... Uh, a really cute gift card holder. Now let's decorate the outside of it. Um, the belly band. Using basic gray again, I have a belly band that is one and a half by nine and a half. I am not going to score it, but I am going to finger press it. So I'm going to put that in the middle like that and then just finger press it around 
trying to keep it straight like that. And we'll put some tearing tape. Oh my God, super cute. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, Facebook user. Such a clever project. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. I'm, I will show you the one of the ones I did at Christmas time uh, using, I forget what sweet it was, but I still had it. So I thought, oh, I'll bring it out and show you. Great for Mother's Day. Great, great, great for Mother's Day. I, I cannot take credit for this and I can't remember who it was I got it from, but uh, yeah, it, it's not my design. So. Okay, so now I've got a coordinating piece of the uh, designer series paper that coordinates with the bag on the inside. And this is four and a quarter, uh, four and a quarter by, oh no, sorry, four and one eighths. I was very particular with this one. And one and three eighths because I didn't want to leave the standard frame all the way around only because I didn't want this um, to be seen, the, 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 the seam here. So I'm going to adhere this on. I uh, knew I was going to run out, so I have another one. Look at this. You'd think I was a Girl Scout. I was prepared. And then this is going to go on here like this. Leaving a really narrow margin. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one out for interest. And I'm going to continue decorating it. Using the gold distressed... Oh my gosh, is that what it's called? Uh, distressed gold, sorry, the distressed gold paper. I used the dies to die cut out this element here. And you know, it's to me, it's just about layering and putting, giving that little bit of detail. So I'm going to adhere that on to give it a little bit of detail. You can use whatever size you want. This is one and three quarters by four. It's not even even if you if you can tell, but you know what? No one's going to know the difference. It's uh, I didn't run it through very very well, so it's not even, but hey, that's okay. And I am going to just lay it on top like that. Okay, so I already embossed and die cut out the uh, floral element from the lovely and sweet and I'm going to do a little bit of watercolor painting with the painter with the painter pens it's on basic white thick and I am not really saturating it I am just going to lightly color it so that it has a little bit of color I want it something really 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 subtle so I've just got my painter my painter pen here or water painter whatever it's called and I've got a bucket of water here and I'm going to take some of the soft sea foam and I'm not even coloring the whole thing. I've embossed it in gold, did I tell you? I embossed, I heat embossed it in gold just to have a little bit of shine to it. And I'm going to color really lightly. I'm not saturating it and I'm not even doing like a full coloring, just giving it a hint of color. I don't want to wet the paper too much because then it, it might pill a little bit. You can see I don't even have a lot of paint on my palette here. I could have added more, but okay, so it's light sea foam for the for the leaves. I clean my brush off and I've got the uh, Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to color really lightly because uh, I couldn't find a color that was, that is Daffodil Delight, is it? No, it's Lemon Lolly. Sorry, guys. Um, lemon Lolly, sorry, Daffodil Delight. And I'm just taking a little bit of Daffodil Delight. And I think, what, what are these things called? Bulbs or something? Or um, flowers that haven't totally opened yet? I think that's like that. I got them all. Oh, no, one more, one more. One more. I forget about that little one behind. And then for the last color, it's going to be Petal Pink. Those are almond seeds. Okay, so, so what color are almond seeds, Tamara? I have no clue. I am not a botanist, or I'm not great with, color, with um, flowers. Okay, and then this is... These are the flowers. 
and you'll see I'm gonna I'll bring it up to you so they're not it's not really rich colors but really 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 subtle colors I could I could do a little bit more of the petal pink here but ah, it's good all right and now I am going to put uh, some dimensionals on the back of this and uh, obviously the dimensionals have to go only on this section not on the oh light green okay so Oh, pistachio-ish. Okay, so I guess I wasn't too far off with the with the um, light yellow. I guess, hey, it's artistic, right? So it doesn't matter what it is. And then I'm putting one there, one there, and one up here. You can always go back in afterwards and tuck a, a few more of the um, dimensionals on after you get it placed like this. I do have a little bit of the trim again that I'm going to stick down here like this. This is per this goes perfect with the with the um, Tombow glue. Uh, I'm looking for scissors. I, I've lost the scissors. They're on my desk. So this works well with Tombow glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow glue on here to hold that down, and it's just going to go underneath the. The bottom of the stem so that it doesn't get stuck. I'm gonna add here, I'll adhere it on a little bit like like this and then I'll put a little bit of glue right there so that will go on like that. I am going to so we have just a note to say hello. Again I don't want just a little note. I just want the hello but you can make go through the hassle of masking it off, etc., etc. I am not going to do that. I am just going to stamp the whole thing in Versamark uh, and then just cut out, just cut out what I want. And, and I wanted a little bit of bling for the hello. So you can take your stamps and you can change them up to what you want, right? So you don't have to have the sentiment as as it is on the stamp but I don't like cutting my stamps up either so I don't care what the top part looks like so plug your ears so I just want the hello so that's all I'm really concentrating on right now And now I am going to freehand that. I wanted a sentiment on the outside, but I wanted something that was part of the suite. You know, if you want to use something else, hey, go for it. But I wanted something that was part of the, the actual suite. So that, that's why I took the hello. And the hello, I am going to put uh, just right here and I am going to put it fl uh, flush with some Tombow glue. I did that right, like that. And then last but not least, my favorite trim. You're using ribbon scissors on paper and now my eyes are twitching. I can't find my, I can't find my uh, scissors. They're on my desk that I was, that I was, um, uh, when I clean my desk, I'll find the scissors. So I'm using my Simply Elegant trim Anyone else? Oh, there, oh, there they are. Sorry, they were right there in front of me. Um, the Simply Elegant trim, my favorite. I will be very sad if they retire this in the catalog. You're killing me slowly. Oh my God, Tamara, I'm a wing it kind of girl, you know? It, it's, it's, it's their scissors, I'll get new ones. <laughs> um, I, will, I'm, I will be very sad if they get rid of the Simply Elegant trim. I think I used it on every project I did at Christmas time. And then I am just going to tick, tick that down. I'm going to tuck that down right there. And with a glue dot, like this, like that. And I will trim these down just a little bit more. And if you wanted to, you could add a, a couple of uh, rhinestones on here. If I, if you added rhinestones on there, I would color them in with 
the bronze, uh, the bronze marker, um, the Stampin' Blend. I'd, I'd cover, cover, color them in so that they're, they blend in a little bit better. Um, I will now, I'm going to tuck a few dimensionals underneath because I don't like how it's not stuck all the way down on the belly band. And like on that one there. And okay, you, you, we've all done this. I know we have all done this. And I'm going to tuck that one there like that. That's the purse. And I'll show you one more time the finished one that has that, that has the actual uh, tissue paper in it. And just a little bit of t tissue paper and you have a really cute gift card holder. Let me show you the one that I did, at, one of the ones I did at Christmas that I still have, happen to have have around and here is uh, the one from Christmas so uh, sim very similar uh, using Christmas uh, paper all right so I'm done yay I've stressed Tamara out oh is there a ray of sunshine around the video okay so this is the sun coming through the I've got a halo over me the sun coming through the uh the window here I've got a board covering it but it must have found a crack um because it's very very sunny here um there we go okay now the now the ray of sunshine is gone all right everybody that's me that's my presentation I will post all the instruction all the uh, measurements up make it pretty and uh, up next is Miss Tamara, and um, let's see what she uses her scissors for. <laughs> I use my scissors for everything. Oh, prize. My prize will be a um, current gem, something current, a gem from the current catalog. Uh, not celebration, but the current catalog. So uh, you will, uh, I think it will, they'll post after all of the presentations. I think that was the plan. All right, everybody, go grab a cup of tea because you're going to need it because uh, Tamara's up next. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Bye.